things are about to get super crazy. From the tallest waterfall in Colombia, we're about to enter a unique area of the country. So unique, in fact, it's the largest of its kind on Earth. Cold start at 3,845 meters. This is a, this is a tough, tough part. I, I don't know what to call it. If driving the longest road in the world wasn't enough, give yourself 100 days to build a 4x4 motorhome capable of such a task. 40,000 miles crossing every type of terrain imaginable through some of the most feared and remote regions on Earth. Just for something to do? No. For something to write books about. Something to relish in the aliveness of living on the edge of the unknown insanity. Something to radically expand our perspective of what the world is actually like and what is possible within one lifetime. I'm Matthew. And I'm Stacy. And this is Toyota World Runners. Proudly presented by West Can Overland, off-road and design. There's a tractor with the potatoes. And now we gotta wait for this to move. Yeah, yeah we're in potato land. <laughs> Not your average uh, construction zone. <laughs> You're just waiting for potatoes. <laughs> Our strategic zigzagging route through the country began with a blank coloring book. And with the change of each elevation, change of department, change of direction, we color a new page. This is the God that Matthew prays to. <laughs> yeah, as important as the Virgin Mary and all the saints is the patrol. <laughs> that is awesome. Wow. The heavy greens in the mountains melt away into brunette hills and then meet a brick wall that sits happy against the sea. It's never tiring saying, Hermosa Pais. All right. All right. I just paid for the, for the hike to the waterfall and you get a little, a little goodie bag. <laughs> I'll show you what's in it later. Hey, Stace. Oh my God. How are you feeling? We're feeling good. I, I just want to show you the contents of our knapsacks. Oh, you don't want to wait till the top? Yeah, let's wait till the top. Oh, yeah. Nice. The suspense. The suspense. Big care. Oh. Do you think they translated that wrong? <laughs> big care. Big care. Really? This is the big cave? They should go to uh, is that considered just a to seek it. <laughs> this is so beautiful. Yeah. Oh, who's this? Hi. Hello. Hi. Are, are you the trail dog? Oh, well, these trail animals. Oh, he's not happy. It's okay, guy. That, that's the solid bridge. Yeah. It's just the longer one. Oh my god. <laughs> Not much foot room. Oh. Tallest <laughs> waterfall in Colombia? <sighs> like almost evaporates. Caught behind Venetian blinds How to reach for the city lines And this ain't where I belong Ain't look at me, man, what I This is La Chorrera, and it is the tallest cascading waterfall in Colombia. At 590 meters, even with a small amount of water, it's still impressive. What I thought was 
We've all been waiting for. Yep. The reveal of the snacks. All right. Fruta. Looks sweet. A little bruised from my aggressive walking. What's that? Telephone? Shh. Oh, not included? Not included. Um, agua from the pool. Chlorine included. Nice pool water. Pool water. Oh, what the heck? Okay. Oh, now this I'm gonna stuff. say caramel and cookies, salty and cookies. cookies. Poncho, I'm assuming. Nice. Because it's pretty treacherous. <gasps> Chocolate. Nice. <laughs> and TP. In case you cry from all the beauty. Right. <laughs> Another epic waterfall. Tallest cascading falls in Colombia <laughs> yeah. at 590 meters. Yeah. I feel bad for anyone that doesn't have a drone because... You can't see much from down here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but wow. But lucky you guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Our drone sees the best stuff. Yeah. Super cool. Alright, now we gotta walk back. We're gonna go have some mojitos. <laughs> okay. What did you hear, Howie? Professional. Crap, the secret now. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. No dancing, no good. No dancing, no good. No. Although the roads are slow, they allow for appreciation. Did we ever imagine being grateful for the road workers fixing the pavement? No. Did we ever imagine finding amazing hospitality in a schoolyard? No. The surprise factor runs deep in the veins of Colombia, and we are grateful to be here. Reminds me of England, it's weird. It ain't hot, but I'm ready. All right guys, we are in Sumapaz National Park. How exciting. It smells weird here. <laughs> but look at all of the frailejones that we learned about at El Cucuy. That's a lot of frailejones. And Little Caesars is just as good in Colombia as it is in Canada. Uh huh. Consistent flavor. <laughs> the Sumapaz National Park is the largest powder mall in the world, one that only exists in a few countries. Described as a neotropical region, it is a deeply important ecosystem, providing water to the most densely populated areas of the country. Scientists have described these regions as evolutionary hotspots, meaning they are some of the fastest evolving regions on Earth. This park only became protected in recent decades. During the prior years of guerrilla warfare, this corridor was used for trafficking weapons, drugs, and even people. Much of the park is inaccessible due to anti-personnel mines. It later became occupied by the national military in 2002, and even that has brought controversy. Yet despite these shadows, this drastic and diverse landscape has us saying yet again, I can't believe this is in Colombia. We're entering the Cloud Valley. Clearly. This is cool. Or perhaps not so clearly. <laughs> Who's this? Henry. That's Henry. Mm -hmm. Wow, he looks like a good farmer. He's a good farmer. Yeah, this is awesome.
If you're enjoying this film, please smash that like button and consider subscribing if you're not already. It's free and it really does help us out. This is the coffee from the coffee tour that we did in the last video, and it is exceptional. I wish the bags were bigger. We bought a couple of them, but they're tiny. Oh, this coffee is amazing, amazing. On another note, I'm wearing a toque. Because <laughs> it's chilly. It is uh, seven degrees Celsius. It's chilly slept so well though, wow. It's gorgeous here. And I have a little bit of a headache, so we might need to make some cocoa tea. <laughs> We're at 3,900 meters. I think this is our highest camp almost. Mm -hmm. This is higher than Kukoi. Higher than our camp at Kukoi, yeah. yeah. Fun. Hey, hey, let's make some joy juice. Another sweet sound. I am wearing a fleece. <laughs> I just need to smell it and it'll be better. Mm. We are camped right here on this corner and we have a long way to go if we want to avoid backtracking. So we're gonna take this kind of main road here and then that main road kind of ends. You can see it goes from yellow to gray and we're gonna be zigzagging all the way across here and here and then we go up and then down this one and this is all just guesswork because we don't know that these roads are gonna go through and kind of our experience in Colombia is sometimes they do sometimes they don't so it's gonna be an endeavor of careful mapping and asking people as we go if the road goes through. Cold start at 3,845 meters. 40% less oxygen. Let's see how we do. Good job, Sunday. Love it. <laughs> Normally, with our eyes glued to the windshield, our minds hope to see foreign wildlife. But for some reason, this desolate foliage feels more ghostly. Our hunt for the Andean bear continues. We noticed the back tire was punctured. I think we're bringing the rainy season with us now. We have no idea if this route will exist, but the guesswork of off-grid mapping in Colombia has become second nature. It's going to be one of those we'll have to drive it to find out situations. The 
of its kind in the world as two 96 meter high champions. Today's roadside rations include uh, tour buses on crazy rural roads. Yeah, and the roadside rations for us are uh, tuna, oysters, chili, and crackers. Not a pizza. Not a pizza. It's about as random as it gets. Okay, so the red route is the one that we determined would be best earlier. Started up there and we've kind of skirted the edge of Suma Pass and we just descended. This was all downhill from 4,000 meters to now 2,000 meters and we are at Piñas Blancas. Now we ride this ridge of about 2,000 meters. So somewhere around here and then elevation starts dropping. <clears throat> so we're probably gonna wanna camp either before that unless we do decide to do the entire push because this is like a valley there's like another little ridge here and this is another valley and then there's the other mountain range here so these valleys are going to be hot and we don't want hot Not even a pullout or a sign. Wow. I don't. I don't think he likes the drone. Oh, 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 oh. oh no. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> no, <watch out>. <laughs> <laughs> we were just all the way up there. Now we're down here. We're gonna go all the way up there. And there was tables full of aguila, like, yeah, like I'm talking like like 50 to 100 beers, just like that have already been polished. And they're like, hey, and they're like, come, come. So those moments where like we could have we could have totally said yes, but like I fear for my liver in moments like that. I had those are the moments where I just like I just wish my Spanish was just a little bit better, because <laughs> yeah. I know like I can understand like. Yeah. Some Spanish, but like slur drunken Spanish. <laughs> Forget it, man. Yeah. yeah. But wow, that was that was that hilarious. Was awesome. They were, <laughs> they wanted us to stop so bad. Man, the rural towns will just they have the best personalities. Inside look at the uh, overlanders up in the Suma Pass region. Cool. a good Samaritan. <laughs> That's a funny looking one. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's good. It's probably so good. Look at all the beans there too. Yeah. That was fun. Right, well, Matthew's was... hired. A nice little workout. Give this button a little spin. I was gonna touch your back. <laughs> While having lots of fun and getting a workout, our progress is still very slow. But we've identified a possible shortcut. 
this whole route feels like a game of roulette anyways, so I don't think we had that much to lose. However, it would turn out route finding would be the least of our worries tonight. saw the biggest waterfall off in the distance like single drop massive waterfall <laughs> but now we have to go find it so now we're gonna go find it maybe we can camp there now our quest to find a safe place to camp has another element TLC's advice of don't go chasing waterfalls would turn out to be very applicable here. Well, this is getting tough. There's these, there's nowhere to even, like, there's nowhere to even park on like the side of the road. These roads are so narrow. It's not like you could even just park on the side of the road for the night. This is all farmland. Anyways, it's getting dark, so. I think we're gonna ask this farm that we're kind of roaming through right now. Also another thing that probably wouldn't be allowed in North America, just roaming through people's farms. This is a this is a tough, tough part. I, I don't know what to call it. It's a hard thing. We drive, we spent all day we're driving for seven hours. These beautiful, beautiful roads, you saw them. And there's literally just nowhere to camp. We haven't even seen a person on oh, the Oh, there's someone on the moto behind us. Oh, let's ask him. Let's ask him. Hola. Okay, let's not. Oh, oh is he gonna stop? Oh. No. Okay, dang it. Ah, oh, is there like the first person we've seen I'm trying to ask someone if there's somewhere where we can like park for the night? And like, there's nothing, man. It's it's tough stuff it's dark you know you don't really want to be driving at night in a foreign country and here we are yeah we have to drive at night with sweet headlights and oh, some KC lights but bam <laughs> okay, people across the valley are gonna see <laughs> stop it Camping in pastures and camping at schools. Cheers. We're eating a pepper tonight from the little farm. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew worked hard for these. It smells amazing. Like I've never had such a fragrant pepper. Hey, it's our dinner. It's probably so good. Oh my God. Okay, so we just got a little tap, tap, tap on the door. And this is usually either really good or really bad. Sometimes they're like, okay, hey, you need to leave. They're probably like, you need to leave our school. But the, the lady just brought us coffee. <laughs> After a night like we had trying to find camp and you stumble upon places like this, it's really, really special to be woken up. <laughs> Look at these tiny, cute little paw prints <laughs> from a possum or like a coat of Monday or something. <laughs> Let's try to get in. He so knew funny. where the wall was. Uh, so funny. It's amazing how the flavors of humanity appear 
when you kind of need them most. Like we were so discouraged last night and then just woke in with so much hospitality and kindness. She actually came back and invited us to uh, stay for dinner. <laughs> I was like, oh, I wish we had, you know, we're like a day ahead of schedule or something, but we had to say no, which was really hard. It's just beautiful, beautiful to even be asked, you know. So there's literally no road to see this waterfall, as hard as we tried last night and this morning. So it's gonna be up to Nanak. you guys think but we're pretty positive this waterfall deserves not only a name but a hiking trail with his camera and sports shirt he seems to be and in fact actually is a correspondent from another world It seems like our roads are deteriorating faster than we can make significant progress on this route. so close to the road that I have to reverse in low, like a kilometer. If you're doing a backroads route, talk to the locals and ask if it works because our entire plan to drive from Suba Pass like all the way through, he just told me it doesn't, it doesn't it does, work. It does. He's like, this route has been a textbook adventure. These remote regions teach us a lot, even through the windshield. When we pass through impoverished areas that still have beautiful flowers planted out front and smiling faces at the door, we feel inspired to continue to find joy with less. The history here is nuanced, but the power of the human spirit to overcome is steadfast. These back road drives may wane on our patience sometimes, but they will always leave us with a story to tell. And that's our favorite part. I hope by now we've earned your subscription. Thank you so much for being here. And we'll see you next time.